what, what, what did you have Brick Baby arrested? Y'all didn't see what that nigga did. I really got, my whole thing I'm playing, nigga, I really got open case. So I'm working with the Atlanta Police Department in the Fulton County Prosecutor on the, on the Soldier Boy, the Flo Malcolm, and the, and the, and the other nigga. And I can't think his name, the Flip Fino nigga. So I'm already, it's an open case with them niggas already, right? We're making threats online. Brick Baby, take his dumb ass and put $10,000 on his head while he's in Houston. <laughs> and say, hey, I got money on Charleston White Hair. Whoa, 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 whoa. And it could be a little bit more. Scared the shit out of me. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I was terrified. Yeah. I was afraid for my life, man. So I immediately reached out to the Fulton County Prosecutor's Office that I was working Yo, sir, oh, man, look. Y'all keep playing with Charleston White, man. Once I seen, like, in an interview, like, previously, like, it's been over a year or some ago, the motherfucker said he do this shit basically for the goddamn troll and shit. You get what I'm saying? So he be trolling gangsters and thugs and all these drug dealers and gang members and shit like that. The motherfucker said he be trolling. So if you say something in a remarkable, not a remarkable way, but in an all way, that's going to draw attention to the real message that you have. So basically he be on some shit like he got a different agenda, but just like my, my when I first started this channel and shit like that and my other channel, don't nobody care about the news, the motherfucking climate change and you know the positive shit. So if you present shit a certain motherfucking way, motherfuckers is gonna tune in and shit like the antics. The motherfucker dissing this person and that person. So he took a different approach for us like, yo, okay, this is what I really think. This is how I really feel. And this is what others, this is how others feel. But they are not going to come out and say this shit. So for example, Nipsey Hussle. Now he was like, fuck Nipsey Hussle, such and such and such. Now on the outside looking in, you want to be like, yo, okay, man, that's a motherfucking disrespect. This motherfucker said fuck a dead person. But then on the other end, he saying like, fuck Nipsey Hussle, the gang member, the rapper. I want to know the um the person, um, you know, the name that the parents gave him. That's who I want to know. I don't want to know the street game banging um, neighborhood rolling 60 Nipsey Hussle. So I'm going to stand on my words. Fuck Nipsey Hussle. So I understood that later on down the line once he do more talking to interviews and shit like that. He say and do shit. He really mean what he say, but he do it in a more catchier way to be more appealing to, you know, more attraction to his message and shit. Because you come out and just be like, hey, kids, don't do this or don't do that. Or, hey, I'm for the kids or I'm for the homeless and this and that. Motherfuckers don't give a damn about that shit. So, boom, let me let me place this target on me. Now y'all want to look at me and see what I got going on. But he got open cases with Soldier Boy and several other people that threatened him. And this recent, this content right here is for it's my reaction for him getting Brick Baby arrested. Now, that's on Brick Baby dumbass. You get what I'm saying? Like, honestly. Because the man already tell y'all, this man taunt y'all. So it's gonna be um it's gonna be an instance. I don't know when or how it's gonna play or go about, but a motherfucker is really gonna get charged and white and it ain't gonna be like they necessarily ain't got to kill him or gonna kill him. You can't keep like torn people like what you gonna do and all of this and that because now somebody else can flip it around and be like, yo, this motherfucker taunted me on the internet and then he threatened me too as well. So yeah, I did shoot the motherfucker or whatever the case may be. So he bragging about goods. That's torn y'all in like, yo, what y'all motherfuckers gonna do to me? Y'all ain't gonna do shit to me. I'm strapped. I got guns. Okay. Now prosecutors and shit like that got to look at shit at that shit too. Like, yo, you taunting these motherfuckers. Now, okay, it, you can taunt people. The world ain't fair. You can taunt people. Now, is it right for somebody to react because you taunted them? You get what I'm saying? Now you got the motherfucking stand, handle, you, you know, you got to deal with the motherfucking consequences and the repercussions and shit. From your motherfucking remarks and actions and shit like that. That's how I look at that shit. Talk to the gang, you're in the office. 
that I want my testimony to state this to. They reached out to Houston. Houston contacted the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. And, nigga, I filed a complaint against that boy. Well, since he's flying across state lines, he don't know, nigga. The FBI watching me for protection, too. Yeah. That's they watch. Yeah, nigga. So he did that. And he got his own self start to look at him. Yeah. Man, this is what these niggas don't realize, huh? The, the feds ain't watching you, nigga, till you do something. Till you do something, till yeah. you do something mm -hmm. this, this world will be watching. Mm -hmm. So right now, this big spotlight is on me. I'm arguing with gangbangers. Mm -hmm. Nigga, they see I went to Nipsey mm -hmm. So they see, nigga, they watching. It's, they, easy. it's easy for them because it's easy for them because all these all these niggas are into things, right? So they like, all so right, why would you, So why would you be fucking with a nigga like me <laughs> yeah. when behind the dark you already yeah. into things? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. They, so, they, nigga, they it's a bait. Yeah, so when he did that, homie, uh, he, he called it playing. He called it playing. Nigga, I literally went through three law enforcement agencies to really file a complaint nigga, yeah. in L.A. against that nigga yeah. for that threat. Because now he making videos of coming to Fort Worth, Texas, like he really yeah. looking for. Yo, so he basically speaking on Brick Baby, the Crip um, Brick Baby from California and shit. Motherfucking brick baby then goes and tell motherfuckers like, yo, I got 10,000 on Charles and Whitehead and such and such and such. So he was in, he came to Texas and did that shit. So Charles and White got in touch with the authorities in the goddamn Atlanta, motherfucking Texas. They got in touch with motherfucking California on um, prosecutors and shit. Then they came and goddamn got brick baby for that shit. Just by um saying that like, yo, I got 10. 10K on motherfucking Charles and Whitehead. Y'all get them. That's such, such. Get what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what he's speaking on, though. Everybody downtown in the gay area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he in the gay area. Right, right. I ain't even talking about, I ain't no, I'm saying ain't nobody down that way, nigga. <laughs> but the gangsters. I ain't no gangsters. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, nah, man. So, nah, nigga, I really. So, so what I do, homie, when these nigga make threats online, nigga, uh, it ain't just me taking them. Nigga, they got a whole cyber unit. Yeah. That's why the cyber unit was able to look at Boosie with that gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As they don't know he looking because the cyber unit. So you got police that ride around. Yeah. You got police that fly drones and fly over the city. You got police that get in the helicopter and fly the helicopter. You got police that's in a narcotics unit that's doing undercover by and doing surveillance. You got uh you got the sheriff's department, and you got police uh, police officers department that's uh, are strictly geared to, to for sex trafficking. Uh, you got some that's looking at financial crime. Nigga, you got a whole motherfucking unit that's just sitting around on computers just like y'all like to look at y'all. So at the end of the day, it's a smart way to go about doing that shit if you want to get charged and white shit. But I ain't ready to speak into that and get into all of that bullshit. But yeah, this basically just Charles and White telling you like, yo, at the end of the day, and y'all see that shit, like Soldier Boy like got charges pressed against him and shit like that. But yeah, man, the motherfuckers wanna taunt y'all and shit like that, right? Then he wanna have the world looking at that shit. So if he catch you out here or you catch him out here and you react and do something, that's probable cause for him to retaliate because he ain't bringing no type of threat to you. And just because he said something about you over social media and shit, that still don't mean you should go put your hands on somebody until they put their hands on you type shit. So if you act aggressive and act like you're a threat, then I'm gonna react. So that's why he motherfucking sprayed motherfucking Soldier Boy with that motherfucking pepper spray because him and Soldier Boy had been going back and forth over social media prior to that. So if you run into that motherfucker and try to do something to him, then guess what? He already tell you, like, the feds is watching him. Lord, people are watching him, expecting for somebody to do something to him anyway. You get what I'm saying? So that's on y'all dumbasses and shit. If y'all go do something to him or try to or threaten him, and then motherfucker get locked up in your town and shit. But yeah, man, y'all go check out Brick Baby. He be on the No Jumper platform. Just a regular goddamn street crip or some shit like that. The guy in the spotlight by getting interviewed or telling his story or side on something. You get what I'm saying? That's how some of these people become big in that household names and shit. Just by being attached to this gang or attached to this life or speaking on this person. Like you know this person that was influential or whatever the case may be. You get what I'm saying? But other than that, man, that was Charleston White speaking on how he got brick baby 
incarcerated. I think Brick Baby out though. You get what I'm saying? Like I think I've been seeing him do like little lives and shit, IG lives and shit like that. But yeah, he threatened Charles White like, yo, I got 10, 10 racks on goddamn Charles White head and shit like that. A little after that, the motherfucking peoples came and locked him up and shit. Locked um, Brick Baby up. So Brick Baby is a crip man from LA and shit like that. Y'all go tap in. Just type in Charles and White and Brick Baby. Then y'all catch up to what the fuck going on and shit then. So majority of these crips going at Charles and White for his Nipsey Hustle remarks years ago, like a year or two ago. You get what I'm saying? So some people, that shit still don't sit well with um, some of these crips and shit like that. So when they catch crips, when, not when they catch, but when they get their social media platform buzzing and shit, that's when they choose the time to attack Charles and White because he's a big name, man. You get what I'm saying? So y'all act like y'all doing that shit and the name and the honor of Nipsey Hussle, but no, y'all doing that shit because Charles and White is clout now. He's a house, he's a household name and shit. You get what I'm saying? So going at him is gonna make eyes look at you now. So now your program can you get what I'm saying? So that's how I look at all of that shit. So y'all keep fucking with Charles and White, and then y'all deserve to keep be in the place that wherever y'all go to. And that's incarceration, because that's a fuck what gonna happen if you fuck with them. You get what I'm saying? So it's all it's, it's a, a thousand ways to skin a cat, man. You can actually get Charles and White without him knowing that it was you. You get what I'm saying? It's a whole lot of what? Sir Early.